I've been working out with a few guys over the offseason. But the one thing, I, I have been retired for the last two years, but you never know, Kurt, but that's the love of the game that I still have inside of me. That's not a commitment that you're going to be here beside us the rest of the year. It doesn't sound like it. You thinking? Hey, I don't know. The sky's the limit for me, Kurt, so we just have to wait and see. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the three-piece suit. Always looks mm. clean. That was Randy Moss saying he hasn't lost the itch to play. Moss ranks third in NFL history in receiving yards and second in receiving touchdowns. He last played for the Niners in 2012. He's 38 years old and hasn't made a Pro Bowl since 2007. Skip, does he have anything left in the tank? Stephen A, gut feeling, no, not enough. But I will say there are a very few athletes I have a hard time betting against, and Randy Moss is in that category. This was a rare, rare specimen of an athlete, as you well know. When, when he hit this NFL back in 98, 99, 2000, he just he revolutionized the deep pass in pro football. I've never seen such long striding deep speed as Randy Moss once had, and obviously, we had a crescendo in 2007 when he teamed up with Tom Brady and shattered the, the record for touchdown catches, 23 that year. Had a pretty good year in 08 the next year and had a pretty, pretty great year the next year in 09, and then he started to slip. And 10, 11, 12, not so much. Shell of himself, almost tiger-like shell of himself. Out for two years, yet. Yeah, there, there's something about Randy Moss, when he's motivated, when he puts his mind completely to something, he's one of those guys I don't bet against. But he's 38 now, and two years away, obviously broadcasting isn't scratching that itch, as he talked about in the soundbite we just saw. But if I were desperate, would I bring him to camp? Would I just bring him in just to see if he could still fly? I might. My, my heart would say yes, my head would tell me no way at age 38, two years out, could he run the way he did back in 07, 8, and 9 for Belichick and Brady. So my gut feeling is he does not have enough left to have any impact in the National Football League. Randy Moss, even at 38, I believe would be better than most receivers in the NFL and could do major, major wow. damage. You believe that? Having, yes, wow. I do. Having said that, there is no way in hell I would give him a chance unless I were the New England Patriots. Mm. Because my, the indelible mark that he left with me, Skip, near the tail end of his career, is not when he finished mm -hmm. his career in Tennessee over the last eight games, you know, I think he only caught like six passes in those eight games. Yep, he did. I don't even count that. Yep. I don't even count that. The indelible mark that he left was when he returned to Minnesota under the auspices of Brad Childress, and they had played the Patriots. He lost to them. He was seen hugging a lot of his former teammates in New England. He was clearly lamenting the fact that he was no longer there, clearly hurt, wanting to be back in New England with Tom Brady, not wanting to be in Minnesota. He had lamented giving Brad Childress and the coaching staff of the Minnesota Vikings advice and how they didn't follow his strategic advice in that game against the Patriots and then subsequently announced to the media that he would be interviewing himself for the rest of the season, that he wasn't going to take any questions from them. Brad Childress was so infuriated, if I remember correctly, he immediately got rid of him. And obviously that soured ownership on Brad Childress. So be it. But what it really comes down to is this. Randy Moss was absolutely positively one of the greatest ever whenever he wanted to be. But there were plenty of times when he, when he clearly was apathetic and indifferent and really wasn't that interested in being one of the best ever. And that was when he was young, more with more vitality, more full of life, more energy, etc. He could sit up there and sit on the podium right now and say all of that. It really, really does not matter because if the situation is not ideal and right, Randy Moss is not going to be that interested in playing. If I'm Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, I can trust him. 
Randy Moss would come there and do what he can. Anybody else, I think it's the potential there to lay down on the job. Hmm. At a moment's notice, not continuously. I'm just talking about in moments. He can get that way. And I can't take that chance on him. Okay, remember what happened, if, if my memory serves, it was a Monday night game at Miami, which was the last game he played for the New England Patriots. And in that game, it certainly appeared at the end of the half and then into the second half, he just quit on Belichick. And I don't know if Bill would forgive him for that, even though they still love each other and all that, but, but would he forgive him enough I for quitting to say, I'll, I'll give you a shot when we need you I, to be our fourth or fifth receiver, whatever? I think if it's just a simple matter of forgiveness as opposed to no questions, there not being any questions about what he can do for you, if it's just a matter of forgiveness, I think Bill Belichick will forgive him. Randy Moss has never spoken against the New England Patriots. He has never done what you would say betray the yeah, New England Patriots. He, uh, he, was, he, was, he was a bit, you know, emotional. He was, uh, he was somebody that would get frustrated and a bit petulant. But from the time he has been gone from the New England Patriots, he's regretted being gone. Mm -hmm. They know that he loved being a member of that family. Like you said, he just literally was on, he just admitted that he had spoken to Tom Brady. He was on the phone with Tom Brady, that they speak every month. Tom Brady would not feel that way about somebody that quit yep. on New England because that's quitting on Tom Brady. There's a difference between somebody that's petulant and might take a play off or whatever because he's he's upset, he's he's whining or whatever. There's a difference between somebody that cares too much that they're emotionally affected and somebody who doesn't care at all. Yeah. And when it came to the New England Patriots, Randy Moss always cared. And he always raves about the Patriots. And to this day, I have never heard him utter a negative word about anyone from that organization. He speaks highly of them. He was clearly proud to be a part of that organization, and he clearly regretted some of the things that happened there. And I think with Bill Belichick knowing that, he can forgive that. Had Randy Moore spoken against him, that would be different. Had Randy Moore contributed to getting him in trouble, that would be different. But somebody that's just, you know, a bit petulant <clears throat> at times, Bill Belichick would forgive that, especially from Randy Moss. Okay. Now, back to the, the deeper question here. The real question is, when Randy Moss had little to no impact in 2010, 11, and 12, his last three full seasons in the NFL, and then he sat for two, so really for five years he has not been able to flip that Randy Moss switch, do you really think he could go back to New England and flip it the way he used to? I don't. It, it, it just life, well, 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 father well, well, well. time doesn't allow well, it. Well, what I'm saying to you is that I think if you're always in shape and you can always do what you do and you have a quarterback like Tom Brady, you can pull off a lot of things. Because I think Randy Moss has forgotten more football than most receivers know That's true. throughout their mm -hmm. careers. So because of that, when you combine that with the intellect of the New England structure mm -hmm. and brain trust, and you also couple that with the greatness of a Tom Brady, plus their familiarity with one another and their chemistry, yep. it's an ideal situation. Now, if you're asking Randy Moss to just step up and go to Green Bay and replace a Jordy Nelson, you know, that would be different because as great as Aaron Rodgers is being that bad man that he is, it's a lot to ask for somebody he's never played with. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think New England's a different scenario. I I'm with you on this. Obviously, they brought in Reggie Wayne for a physical. I don't know exactly where it's going. You, you brought the fact mm -hmm. that Green Reggie Bay. Reggie Wayne would be a better interest. situation for Green Bay. Randy Moss could potentially be a better situation for New England. So I will give you, I would, if I'm Belichick, I would at least bring him in to take a look. Maybe a practice field look, definitely a physical. It's the only thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because no of the one else should look at Randy Moss. No one else should look at Randy Moss but the Patriots because mm. he would want to be there. I can trust he would act accordingly. I couldn't trust him anywhere else because if you didn't seem that interested four or five years ago, why the hell should I believe you'd be that interested now? I know one team that would love to have a Randy Moss type player, and that is Tennessee. It was Marcus Mariota's second preseason game last night, a starting quarterback facing the Rams. Are the guys sold on him? Find out next.